Hello gorgeous soul, welcome to Weekly Astrology and I've got great news this week. Yeah baby! Thank goodness Venus, the planet of love, is going direct. If you've had any problems in intimate relationships and particularly issues to do with ex-lovers and old love experiences, expect progress now. And also Mars is going into Aries, it's happy place. Here's your Weekly Astrology. Aquarius, Aquarius. This week has got moments, dazzling moments of wonder, thank goodness, as Venus is going direct and she is in such a fabulous place. She's in your creativity zone, your soulmate zone. I hate that word soulmates, cancel that word. No. In your romance zone, in your kind of joining and union of spirit zone, of children, of all wonderful, joyful things that make you happy. So uh, make the most of it. Venus Direct in your fabulous zone this week. Okay, we've got Mercury going retrograde, which may, might make you be feeling odd, odd or self-critical, or you might feel that other people are criticising you. Try and work with that energy by love bombing yourself, by focusing on healing your relationship. Perfection, nobody's got perfection. Nobody needs perfection. We are all a beautiful piece of cosmic artwork and fabulous as we are now. So do your best, work on yourself, but don't put yourself down this week. In other news, we have Mars going into your position of communication and it's going to be there for six months. You have some passionate, strong ideas. Uh, be careful not to be argumentative with Mercury retrograde, but you're like, you're fighting for what you believe in and you are saying what you believe in and you are a driving force to get your ideas out there. You have more strength, more energy and more passion in your ideas than, well, I say ever before, but certainly it's full on and you deserve to get your amazing ideas out there and it's great that you can have the belief in yourself. You are going through interesting times because you have Saturn in your sign. But at the end of the year, you have Jupiter in your sign. This is a major time of unique transformation for you where you can ground yourself, where you can grow, where you can blossom, where you can transform. This week, focus on the self-love and focus on the joy and express your love to the people around you that you do love. And there'll be great rewards from that. Let's see what the tarot has to say. If you're not into the tarot, I'll see you next week. If you are, let's have a little look. Let me shuffle this properly. I keep getting the three of pentacles for every sign. It'll be interesting if it comes up for you. Okay, Aquarius, let's see what card comes up. We've got the trickery card this week, but you know what? Mercury's rest retrograde. This card has come up a lot for people anyway. You know, misunderstandings, trickery just kind of dodgy communication but you're breaking free of that you have felt trapped perhaps there's been one person in your life that is not being honest with you and you've sensed it and you've decided maybe because you're in love with them maybe because you've had a long-standing friendship with them that you haven't wanted to let go but you are ripping off that blindfold and seeing the truth this week and it may make you realize that yes you have been let down you have been betrayed you have been hurt by someone sometimes that's why we avoid dealing with the truth if we feel someone's lying because then we have to deal with the fact that, that they've betrayed us so if you're dealing with that at the beginning of the week um don't worry because you've got the ace of pentacles here you're grounded enough to build and grow and also there is abundance and kind of grounded success coming your way use your intuition you've got the high priestess here which tops all of those minor arcana cards use your intuition you are growing and when you're in your power because you're not letting negative people drain you you're not letting people take advantage of your beautiful spirit that's when you truly come into your power that's when you can make wise intuitive decisions which lead you in the direction of your dreams take care gorgeous come visit me on instagram i'll speak to you soon Hi gorgeous, before you go, check out my new film on my fabulous psychics. A lot of people ask me for readings, I don't do them anymore, but for over 20 years, I've had an award-winning team of psychics that I truly handpick. So check out the film, let me know what you think. 
The purpose of a reading, I feel, is very much to inspire people and to empower people. It's about hope. It's about guidance. Using a phone or being with you, it will be the same because the matter is spiritual. It's very important for me that the client feels spirit with them. So it was a psychic reading. I don't remember the readings right after because it's not myself giving that. It's actually coming from spirit. And it is a bit like a three-way conversation. I've got the person on the phone, I've got me, and I've got another voice that's telling me things. I even shock myself, things that I come up with, and I think, how did I, I get that? I'm channeling messages only for, for one purpose, to, to help people. It's been able to help somebody have a map back to where they've got lost from. My priority is to connect to your truth and have the best life that you can have. I think in my readings people feel a sense of a safe space where they can really be themselves, let go. You need a feeling of being understood because reading should be empowering. I will make sure when the reading is finished that you're happy with everything. I, I couldn't do anything else, it's, it's, it's part of who I am, it's what I came here for obviously. And when they come back and tell you they've got their dream job or the love of their life, that really makes me feel like I'm valued. I love to hear a sigh of relief. A lot of weight has been lifted off their shoulders. We have the answers that we are looking for within ourselves. I know I have the tools to help you. Everything begins and ends with you.